Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel Refuge T here with my granny's closet back with another video for you guys. How is everybody doing today? I am feeling so much better than I have been lately. Allergy season has just really kicked my butt and my anemia just like kicked in on Sunday, Monday, and then yesterday on Tuesday. I'm still feeling a little kind of getting back in the flow of things, but I just dropped my younger two off at school right now. And uh, on my way back home, I was like looking at the sun's coming out. It's a perfect uh, temperature, so I was like, thinking maybe I should go for a walk or even a run, like walk up the hill and then run back home. But if I do that without Rocky, he's going to be so mad. So I think, I don't know, I just, ah, I want I want to be outside right now. So I just, I have that. So I figured I was going to come home and just, you know, rest my head and chill until I had to take my oldest son to school because today's Wednesday, he has late arrival. And then I was just like, you know what? Let me just record my midweek Wednesday video really quick. After I drop him off, I can go for a small jog or a run or something and get myself like back into a routine of working out again. So, because it's been a minute since I've actually, like I work out here, but it's only like wall Pilates or small little calisthenics and nothing too major because... My arthritis starts to kick in if I work out too heavy and too hard and weight lift too heavy. And I'm like, you know what? We're going to grin and bear it. Grin and bear it. <laughs> Today's video is going to be another yarn review on Angora. But before we get into today's video, let's get into some admin and intro stuff. If you don't know, now you know. You can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, Etsy, and Facebook, all underneath my granny's closet, 3Gs. If you're interested in purchasing any of the items that I do make and sell at my farmer's market, you can find it on my Facebook page at my granny's closet, 3G. That is where I post all of my listings. Sometimes if I post a listing on Etsy, I will post the link there and guide you guys there to my Etsy shop. And my Etsy shop is the same... Uh, as my group page, my granny's closet three G's, no spacing, just at the S at the end. And my group page is where we go to congregate and conversate about all things yarny and crafty goodness. If you have a question about a vendor event coming back, coming up, if you want to boast about your amazing cutesy bun items that you do make and that you do go and sell or that you're giving away, please, by all means, you guys, I need more activity and foot traffic in my group page. I have been slacking in those areas lately because I did get into a little bit of a ADHD slump and I, I know I told you guys I would warn you but sometimes it just hits me and I just don't want to do much so I haven't really I posted reels on Etsy and I mean the Instagram and my um uh on my my book talk or my bookstagram and on my crochet page on on Instagram but I don't, I haven't posted any reels of myself doing the music and stuff because it's just been, I've been in a funk this last week because it's just been brain fog, you know, that ADHD brain fog, but I'm getting better. I did get a little bit of an emit crash, so, but that happens from time to time, especially once a month, so <laughs> you guys can understand that. If you guys are new or returning subscribers, thank you for joining me today. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you guys are amazing. Thank you for the comments, the comments, the patience, the love, the joy, the prayers, the peace, the strength. I appreciate every single one of you and everything that you do drop in the comment section down below. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. T-shirt of the day. You guys, we have Mr. Batman right here, and I love that it's in neon green. It's like a neon sign. It's my one of my favorite shirts. I don't wear it often because it wasn't mine before. It was my uh, middle son's t-shirt. He grew out of it, and I, I just, I love it. I love that they grow out of their shirts when they're, you know, little, and then they get older, and I get to wear their shirts, and they get some really cool, amazing <laughs> t-shirts that are printed. You guys know I'm all about a printed tee. So this is my baby boy's uh, neon green Batman shirt. He walked in one day and he was 
threw it at me while I was sitting on uh, crocheting on my bed. And he goes, here, mommy, it's yours now. And I was like, oh, I'm so excited. So I got my son's Batman shirt and I'm really excited about it. All right, you guys, let's get into some <laughs> Angora. <laughs> I tried, I tried, but there's three of them. Okay, let's get into today's video, you guys. We are talking about Angora today. I don't know if you remember way back when, I believe it was last summer, uh, my family and I went to a place called Fatima's in LA area, and it was delicious. They served hot Cheeto food everywhere, um, or not hot Cheeto food, but yeah, hot Cheeto food, but it was like a cross between Persian food and Mexican food. And they put hot Cheetos in everything. They crumbled them up. You got hot Cheeto, like your cheeseburger rolled in hot Cheeto. And my middle son had that. It like how was half dipped in hot Cheeto. <laughs> he enjoyed that so much. I had the hot Cheeto um, asada fries, the nacho asada fries. And I was like, oh, so good. You guys, it was so good. And you guys know I'm a hot Cheeto fiend. And yeah, anybody... Anybody wants to send me hot Cheetos, I will not turn those away. <laughs> First, I got to get, you know, a P.O. box. <laughs> those, I will say yes. Yes, send those. I will take those. <laughs> Nothing else. The hot Cheetos, we're going to go with that. <laughs> those and nutty bars, like the peanut butter with the wafers and dipped in chocolate nutty bars. That is my jam right there. But unfortunately, I don't have a P.O. box. So I will be receiving any hot Cheetos and that is quite all right with me because nothing is required. All things are appreciated and I appreciate your comments more than I appreciate a gift. Your words of encouragement and wisdom are all I need right now. So, but to get back on track, I was just so loving this food, right? And then after we went to Fatima's, um, it was a whole video where it was like a weekend with my kids at Fatima's and uh, we went to the San Diego Zoo the next day. But after we went to Fatima's, because we're in the LA area, I knew that there was a bunch of yarn shops all around, like a local yarn store, LYS. Uh, and I told my husband, I was, I was like, since we're out here, can I just go to one? He was like, yeah, we can go to as many as you want. I was so excited. And he was like, we'll get you whatever you want. And I was like, yes, I was excited. So we went all over. But by the time we had gotten to the yarn store that I had been wanting to go to, it was part of the yarn crawl from last year's yarn, yarn crawl in LA. It was closed. I was like, no. And then we went to another one. And then I called another one. And by the time that we would have gotten to those other two, they would have been closed too because they closed at five. And we were taking our time throughout the day because it was just us and the kids and we were just exploring LA County. And we were having fun as a family. And it wasn't really, we weren't rushing, you know? So we finally find this one where it's a hole in the wall. And it was in this really downtrodden area. They had this kind of store that had trinkets and like odds and ends, you know, where um, the gel lip gloss that we would get in high school or junior high or the little clippies that you clamp in your hair. So like it, it was kind of like a throwback and then those little cheapy toys for like two and three dollars, but they were doing really good. So in the back of the store, I think I showed you guys a video of that in the back of the store. I, I, I'll take some, I'll see if I can find pictures and I'll put them up here. But in the back of the store, there was this entire area of yarn. And I was like, yeah, that's what I want. And it was all from Mexico. And I was so excited. I want to go back because they did have this really pretty pearly, um, multicolor pastel yarn. And I was like, Ooh, maybe I should get that. But you know what? I, they were like five dollars each and i only had i think 20 bucks on me and i didn't want to spend more than than that and i was like okay if i just get one hank of yarn because i was thinking it was like you know one of those lys stores but this was more like a you know mexican kind of style store where they go to mexico buy out you know grab a whole bunch of stuff bring it back to the states and then they sell it in their store that was kind of, those, those are kinds, those are the best kinds of stores, you guys, because you get that. And so I got three of these Angora 
um, cakes of yarn. They had caked up, and but this is how Mexico does it. They do their yarn, and then they cake it all up, and then they sell it like that. But I just recently found a swap meet down the way. It's a small little swap meet in our area, and we accidentally passed by it because we were going, we went to a little hole-in-the-wall place to eat, and then we were driving back through that area, and we were like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. It's a little, you know, swap meet. So we, me and my husband were like, well, we're going to drop the kids off. We're going to um, eat our food because we just went to go pick up food. And then we came back. Sorry, my alarm is going off for when I have to drop my son off for school. <laughs> and then we came back and we went there. And this lady at her booth had the same sparkly pastel yarn. But that yarn, it was, I believe she said it was $3.50 per cake and she required cash. I didn't have cash. So this Sunday I'm going to grab cash. I'm going to go back. I'm going to buy the whole bag. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. So let's get into some Angora. I have never tried Angora before. It was a long backstory, but I apologize. Um, I, I've never tried Angora before. And if you guys don't know what Angora is, it is rabbit and it's very soft. It extremely soft. And I wanted to do a, um, I wanted to do a shawl with this. Now, there is no name brand. There there was no name brand when I grabbed it. Uh, but I'm pretty sure if I go back into the video and I look, it'll give you, you know, what the name brand is. And I'll try and post that down below here if I find it. And it doesn't come with, you know, yarn bands or anything. But let's do I don't know I'm I want to do the gray one we're gonna because the purple and th this purple is like an electric purple I got it because it just called to me they had all kinds of different colors and I was thinking you know what I love this purple color I wanted to get the red I wanted to get the green the blue the yellow the oranges they were so vibrant but I only had cash on me and their machine, you had to have a certain amount before they would not charge you with using the, the ATM machine. And so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to grab five and that's it. You know, I want to su support small businesses, especially Mexican small businesses, because, you know, we all need the help. So let's find a hook sizes. We're going to put the blue and the black one down because I was like, you know what, I want to make a shawl out of this, but I want to make a certain kind of shawl. Okay, so let's gauge this. I'm thinking maybe a 4.0. Yeah, I'm going to do a 4.0 because this looks like a 2, maybe a 3 weight right here. I want to say between a 2 and a 3 weight um, because it's very thin. It's got that halo on it, so we're going to go with a, a 3, I want to say. With this one so I'm gonna go with the 4.0 hook size I was gonna do a um, a pattern with this with the new um, shawl that I just purchased for Miho crochet but for right now we're gonna get the we got our trusty save a unicorn um, because uh, yarn bolt but because I can't find the center we're gonna do an out outside pull right now so far, I mean, it's really soft. It is really soft. We're just going to do a granny square shawl re really quick um, because I want to see how it goes with that. And it's so, it's so, I don't know, maybe I should do a five point, maybe I should do a five millimeter hook because this is getting, Oh, it gets a little stiff when you use a smaller hook. Okay, let's try a five millimeter. The 
the fibers are floating in the air. I can feel them tickling my nose. <laughs> I generally, like because it's Angora, I was thinking maybe I should not do something basic like this. Okay, I like the way it feels with the five millimeter um, versus the four millimeter. So I think I'm going to frog it and we're going to go with the five millimeter and continue on. But it's, it's bit, it's, I like the way this feels. It, there's no irritation. I was really worried about that because you guys know I have sensitive skin and I'm limited in my, um, in what kind of, um, texture I can. Here we go. There is four millimeter down at the bottom. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> There's four millimeter down at the bottom. This is five millimeter. Now let's move up to a six millimeter crochet hook and see how that goes. I like this idea of moving up a hook size when I'm doing these reviews. I really like it because it gives you guys, like it, it shows you what it, you know, how, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the different, I guess this is a swatch to see which um, hook size is easier to use for this yarn. So, and yeah, I, I would say it's more of a, as you're pulling it right here through your um, tension fingers, I, it feels more like a two than a three now that I'm using it, but it feels like on my hook, it feels rough a little. Like I don't like that tinny kind of sound when I'm rolling my hook through and passing it through the, the stitch. I'm not a fan of that sound especially when it's like a wooden hook and you're using an acrylic yarn and you can hear it. Oh, I always have to lower the volume or put it on mute because I cannot stand that sound of the wooden hook, you know, grating against the textured yarn of acrylic or any yarn for that matter with a wooden hook. So I stay away from wooden hooks. I don't use those. I just use ergonomic hooks. <laughs> All right, so here we go, you guys. I really, really like this idea. Okay, so we have a, why do I keep doing that? We have a four millimeter hook right here. Okay, this is a five and this is a six. I like that it gives you different volumes Oh, you know what? Maybe that would be a good pattern. Like you switch hooks every so often so that it gets chunkier and chunkier. Ooh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I like it. I really like this yarn. I think I'm going to make something with it. I'm, I'm giving this like two thumbs up, you guys. This like five balls of yarn. That is... Bloop, 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 bloop. That is a really good yarn. And I've never tried Angora before, so I was really kind of iffy about it. But this is pretty cool. I'm, let's see. Ugh. I don't know why I bought gray and purple. Ooh, the purple's softer. Let's try the purple, and we're going to keep going with this, um, with this uh, six millimeter hook. I'm, 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 this one is softer. The purple one is a lot softer. Have you guys ever tried Angora? I'm, I'm, I'm floored. I almost want to go back to that store because I have money now. <laughs> And I want to go buy more Angora and just make shawls out of it. That, yes. You know, I see the issue now that I started with the four millimeter crochet hook. It's starting to, I guess, curl with, 
in itself. You guys see that where it's like starting to arch inside because it's a lot tighter here and then it go it moves up a hook size. Yeah, I, I see the issue with that now. And then I have to, you know, when changing colors, I'm not weaving my ends in because I'm going to be frogging this after my video and then we're going to um, try a shawl with this. Oh, I'm so excited. Somebody is going to love this purple shawl. Purple, black, and gray. I want, I should have started, I think I'm going to start out with black, gray, or what should, what color should I start out with? Should I start out with black, then purple and gray? I don't know. I'm rocking without rocking my chair. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It's me thinking and trying to plan out the color, but the, it's too stressful for my brain, so I'm self-soothing. <laughs> Who does that? Who else self self soothes? Because the process in a step, when people say, okay, I'm going to crochet this. Like in my ADHD brain, if somebody or if I think, I want to create something. Now the stressful part is what colors am I going to use? What pattern am I going to use? What hook size am I going to use? Do I, can I even find that hook size? Um, do I have the colors that I want to make? And if I don't, I have to go to the store and then it stresses me out. So I end up going with my tried and true. All the patterns that I've memorized and I just it, it's just it's not as simple as one two three it might be simple for other folks with one two three but for somebody with adhd and look at this i'm still rocking back and forth <laughs> because it's stressing me out just explaining it to you and i don't even realize that i start to rock sometimes and it, rocking forward um is one thing but then i rock side to side as well but right now this front and back motion is really helping me stay focused right now um, and I do this often when I'm at church too. I, I rock and people are like, what is up with that one? <laughs> I'm like, just pray for me. yo. just pray for me. <laughs> but okay. I love this Angora in the purple. It is so much softer than the gray. Um, I think it's like the color that they use to dye it. Maybe it creates a, cause like, okay, I know from experience with hair color, if you color your hair a certain color way, it changes the texture of your hair because it has different levels of deposit depending on what kind of solution that you guys used to mix with the color to deposit into your hair. So if you use 20, 30, 40 volume, there is zero volumes. There are like um, five or yeah, five volumes and 10 volumes. Now we're getting the hair color. Sorry guys, tangent, but I promise there's a reason for this. It So I know that if you color a yarn a certain color, that color base is gonna change the texture of your yarn. Um, I know that when I color my hair black, it gives this sheen soft color. So black for me is always softer. It's the whites and the lighter colors in the hair that causes more of a like rough brittle texture. And I, I, I'm not experienced too much of that. Um, in yarn, I feel like it's the opposite in yarn. Like the this black one feels a lot more rougher than the purple and almost the same texture as a gray one. Mind you, it's still really soft. However, I, I still feel that more rougher texture. Like the purple one feels a lot softer than the gray. And then I would say the gray one feels the next level of softness and the black one is still soft, but it still has more of a rougher surface than the gray. And so let's get, um, we're going to start with this next row of black of this Angora. And I'm, I'm tempted 
because I know, I know people that live in that area. So if I go to that area, I can pick my friend up and we can just go to that store and I can get more of this Angora yarn. I am okay with this. I've not experienced any kind of, because if I use acrylic, I get like a rough patch right here and it's dry no matter how much lotion I put right there. I get that little, you know, ashy rough patch right there. Um, especially when I use wool, wool creates little bumps. Like I was using wool the other day and it breaks out my whole hand. So I have my eczema broke out here. I have dry patches on my knuckles right now. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't touch those areas of my hand. I still break out because I'm highly ex uh, sensitive. So I'm, I'm, but I'm loving this black, purple, and gray Angora. You guys, I'm, I'm really excited. Whoo! I want to go back and get more. Because it would, five dollars? It is a good, ooh, I dropped, I skipped a stitch there, but we're just going to keep going. And I'm going to frog it anyways, right? <laughs> but I am okay the only issue I have here is it doesn't have a proper center pull and it's too tight in the center to actually try and find the center pull. It's too tight in there. So I won't be able to find the center pull, but I'm okay with pulling on the outside of these cakes and it'll, I mean, it's going to work out. So I, I'm okay. I like the way this this is so yeah let's finish this row maybe do another row I have a few more minutes before I have to leave to take my son to school but I I'm good with this you guys and guess what <laughs> there is no bloopers I am getting the hang of this YouTube thing actually there was tons of bloopers in the beginning <laughs> so I'll put those in the end but <laughs> I'm telling you and then it was so funny because Rose had commented she was like Where's the the bloopers refuge? And I'm like, I don't know. Um, with that video, when I do my weekly vlog, I don't normally have bloopers. I just cut stuff out because sometimes I talk way too much. And I'm like, ah, well, that had nothing to do with what I was talking about. I went off on a huge tangent. And so I cut all of that out to reduce the time and the space on my phone. Because sometimes if my phone gets too crowded with your video then I can't upload anything uh it, and then I have to go into my my camera because I do everything on my phone I don't have a fancy camera I don't have like I need to buy a new laptop because it's going bad um yeah but all that to say is that I don't I didn't I'm getting the hang of this <laughs> non-blooper situation but I'm pretty sure that I do do a ton of bloopers uh, in the beginning of my videos because I don't often do my, um, what is it called? My, um, my opening anymore. And I'm sad about that. So uh, I will try to do more of my openings on my videos, especially on Mondays and Fridays when I do my market videos. So we're gonna, we'll do that guys. We'll do that. Okay. I'll record my intro and outro before my videos and then we can possibly get more bloopers going. But most of the time now, especially when my kids are on vacation, when they're on vacation or summer vacation, they, I, I, it's not as so many bloopers that I worry about. It's like the sound in the background because the kids are home and they make so much noise. And I'm just like, oh, be quiet. Uh, like earlier when I was trying to do the intro to my video, um, uh, my son, he walked in, he waved at me and I nodded at him. He sat down on my bed and he started rubbing his feet on the carpet. And I'm like, dude, we can hear that. <laughs> so maybe I'll put that in the bloopers as well, because that, I was just like, stop it. Go get dressed. Go get dressed. <laughs> we'll put that in there, okay? But he is ready for school. He is downstairs now. And I'm on my last granny square here. So let's get this last one in there. 
and then we can close out this video and you guys can go get you some Angora. I love, love, love this. Now I'll try to find the brand for you guys. Um, maybe, but see what I mean by, it looks like an arrowhead, <laughs> Uh, it, by me using a four millimeter than a five millimeter and then finally a six millimeter, it worked better with the six millimeter. It wasn't as tight. And that way, when you guys get your Angora, depending on, you know, how it's being wound up, you guys can get the one that flows well with you and you can match it to your hook size but you guys, that is it for me today. We did purple, gray, and black, and I'm really excited. How should I do this rotation? So to do black, purple, and gray, I think I'm gonna go black, purple, and gray, and we're gonna start, we're gonna do that new uh, shawl that I just got from Miho Crochet. I don't know the name of it off the top of my head, but I did print it out, and I do have it in my folders. She has more that just came out. I was like, dude, I just bought one, and you just put put another one out. I'm going to go broke at this rate. And she's laughing at me, <laughs> but you guys go try, go grab yourself a pattern, go grab yourself some Angora. If you've used it before, let me know what did you make and how did it work out for you? What hook size did you use? Um, what weight was it? Give me all the details so that I can get some more ideas and possibly go get more Angora because I am loving this. I love the way it feels. I, I'm not a fan of putting it on my face, but I just wanted to see how it felt. Like, it's a wearable. Maybe I should make a, like, a scarf. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll have enough. But that is it for me today, guys. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you guys sticking all the way through to this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring that notification bell. Click on the all button and it'll notify you when I drop another video. You guys, don't forget to have a blessed rest of your Wednesday, a blessed rest of your week, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Hey, hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel, Rescue, Rest, Rest, Rescue, Refuge. <laughs> Can't even say my own name. <laughs> Today's video, you guys, is going to be all about Angora. But before we get into that, let's get into today. Let's get into today's video. No. If there's no spacing, just add the S at the end. No spacing, just add the S at the end. Okay, you guys, let's, before we get into today's video, but before we get into that, let's get into some admin and intro stuff. If you don't know, now you know, you can find me. Oh, I already did that. <laughs> Such a dork. It's like the perfect temperature right now. I want to go for a run or at least a small little walk without Rocky because when I go for a run, he goes faster than me sometimes and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> There's three of them. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Again. <laughs> this keeps slowing down. Honey, I can hear that in my video. Go get ready. Go get ready. It's going to be very hot today, so I do not recommend sweats. Why? I just said it was going to be very hot today. Um, that was a burp. One for the bloopers. <laughs>